and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i upcycle my old clothes and trust me that this is going to be very very easy kahit beginner ka pa lang kayang kaya mo to gawin kasi kung nagawa ko kayang kaya rin gawin <laughs> anyway wala akong background kung paano magtahi ng damit tapos ng high school kasi tinuruan kami gumawa ng basic stitches mag embroidery mag cross stitch pero ginawa lang kasi namin yung sa malilit na piece of cloth so hindi kami nabigyan ng chance to like really work on clothes at hindi rin kami tinuruan kung paano gumamit ng sewing machine so, wala talaga akong idea kung paano. And then, nung dumating to sa akin, tong sewing machine, thankfully, ang daming reviews nito sa YouTube and madami siyang tutorials. Kaya ayun, it really helped me to like, learn how to operate the sewing machine. And my mom also helped me kasi dati tinuruan daw sila kung paano gumamit ang sewing machine. But anyway, if you're a beginner and if you wanna learn like, how to sew or how to use the sewing machine, I think this is a good machine to start with. Kasi first of all, uh, galing to sa Shopee. Tapos, this is very, very cheap. Pero, I got it only a week ago. And, I don't know if after some months, gagana pa siya. Kasi, as of now, okay pa siya. Pero, natatakot ako na one day, baka pagising ko or pag mag magtatahi na ako, bigla siyang hindi gumana. Pero, sana, okay pa siya in the long run. Anyway, if you're interested to know where I got this, ililink ko na lang siya down below sa description box. And, share ko na lang din. Actually, impulse buy lang to. Because, I bought it at around 2 a.m. sa kakanood ko ng upcycling videos sa TikTok at sa YouTube. Kaya ayun, napabili ako kasi I also wanted to try to like upcycle my clothes kasi ang dami kong damit dito na hindi na nagagamit and syempre pabago-bago yung style at yung iba medyo laos na yung style. Kaya ayun, I wanted to change it a bit para mas mukha naman siyang fashionable lalo na ako Ang bilis akong magsawa. Pag may bagong trend, kailangan meron na ako agad yan. But if you don't wanna buy a sewing machine, meron naman akong tutorial dito sa video na to that doesn't require a sewing machine. Basically, mano-mano ko siya tinahe. So, kung kaya ko gawin, kaya kaya din gawin. Matrabaho lang siya, pero kailangan talaga ng tiyaga when it comes to like upcycling clothes. Kasi pag titignan mo yung videos, like tutorials, parang ang dali niya tignan. But when you're actually doing it, madali siya, pero it's gonna take up a lot of your time. And ako kasi, I upcycled um, six clothing pieces. So, one, two, then I have other four more. So, ayun, it took me like three days, pero kasi parang half day lang ako nag-work per day since I also have work from home. Anyway, itong clothing pieces na to, madali mo lang siya mahanap sa closet mo kasi yung mga ginamit ko lang like plain t-shirts or polo t-shirts or cardigans. So, ayun, for sure, meron yan sa closet ng mom mo or sa closet mo or sa closet ng dad mo kasi ako, itong top na to, when I made this top, uh, galing to sa polo shirt ng dad ko which he doesn't use anymore. Eh, nagustuhan ko yung color. So, nagpaalam ako sa kanya if I can like cut Kasi yun nga, hindi naman niya ginagamit yung polo. So, sayang if nakatambak lang. And eh, nagustuhan ko yung color. So, ayun. I made it into a top that looks like this. So, parang sweetheart top siya. And may flowy sleeves. And in this tutorial, hindi ako gumamit ng mannequin. So, hindi ko siya sinugat sa mannequin kasi iba yung size namin. So, bawat measurement ko comes from my body size talaga. Oh my God, nahulog na yung sleeves. And if you're interested to know how I made these two, just keep on watching kasi aside from these two, uh, may tuturo din akong iba sa tutorial kung paano ako gumawa ng tie knot cardigan or like how I crop the polo, ganun ganun. And yeah, it took me some time to do this so I really hope that you will appreciate this video and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you're new here. I have a lot of videos that I have uploaded before. I have Shopee hauls, travel vlogs, makeup vlogs, skincare vlogs, baking vlogs, mandarin vlogs. And so and let's get on with the video. This is an old polo shirt that I got from Uniqlo and I don't use it anymore and I feel like the design is too simple for me so I decided to make it into a haltered crop top. Mark the sleeves because we're gonna cut it off later and I used a pencil for this. So yeah, you just begin by cutting one side first. And then you fold it in half and make sure that everything is aligned. Kailangan pantay siya. And then you use the other side as a guide. Use pins to hold the cloth together para pantay yung kapit. And in this case, hindi kasi ako gumamit kaya medyo hindi siya pantay. Before cropping it, naglagay na din ako ng pins to secure the front and back so that when I cut it, hindi gagalaw yung fabric underneath. So we're not yet done because we still have to sew the armholes and the bottom. 
And at this point, I thought that my sewing machine was broken, pero hindi nang pala siya nakasaksak. But anyway, just continue to sew the armholes and the bottom. And I'm gonna use the excess cloth to make a headband and same procedure, we put pins first before cutting it para pantay yung gupet. And since pabilog siya, we're gonna cut it in the middle to make a long strip. And then measure your head and cut off the excess fabric. And then fold it lengthwise para hindi masyadong makapal yung headband. As usual, you're gonna put pins again to hold both sides together and this is optional pero mas prefer ko kasi to put pins para mas pantay yung tahit. I really like the color of this shirt but it's too plain so I'm gonna make it into a tie knot top and this doesn't require a sewing machine. So first, draw a line in the middle and then cut it. And yung peg kasi natin is to make it into a V-neck. We're gonna need to cut off the bottom seams first if you want to achieve that flowy effect. And after cutting, make sure that you don't throw this away kasi gagamitin natin siya later for our ribbon. Anyway, we also need to cut the seams of the armholes. So same thing, we also need to cut the seams in the neckline. So I want to make this top a little bit cropped, so I lay it flat on the ground and made a straight line using a ruler. Here, I'm just cutting off the excess, yung mga hindi pantay. To make the v-neck, you have to make a triangle on each side, and you can make a bigger triangle if you want. Place a pin in the part where you want to put the ribbon. And then we're gonna take the ribbon, the one that I told you not to throw away, and we're gonna cut the part with the stitching because we don't need it. So don't worry if the edges are not straight because we're gonna stretch the fabric. And then just cut the strip in the middle. So this is how it's supposed to look like after sewing the ribbons to the top. And I decided to hand sew this because I feel like it's gonna be much easier. And nilagay ko yung string dun sa likod ng shirt para hindi siya halata when you wear the top. This is an old cardigan that I found in my mom's closet and I really like the color but hindi ko masyadong trip yung designs so I'm gonna make it into a tube top and a cropped cardigan. So I took a cropped cardigan that fits me well and ginaya ko lang yung measurements niya. Then draw a straight line and make sure to leave space for seam allowance para hindi naman siya sobrang cropped. So place pins again to secure the front and back para pag gugupitin mo na siya hindi gagalaw yung cloth underneath. Thanks. 
see. Since this cardigan is a bit oversized and gusto ko medyo sumikip siya ng konti, I'm gonna resize it by flipping the cardigan inside out and placing the pins according to my size. And it's important that you try it on para malaman mo if gusto mo siyang sikipan or luwagan ng konti. And we're gonna put back the bottom part of the cardigan at makukuha natin siya doon sa part na ginupit natin kanina. Ito yung mukhang garter doon sa bottom ng cardigan. And then we're gonna cut the bottom part and hindi ko naman nakailangan ng pins kasi may line naman siya as my guide. And then once you flip it over, make sure that they're aligned because we're gonna sew them together. And then we're gonna deal with one side first so paikot natin siya gagawin until we meet both ends. So place the pins near the bottom edges para magtatahiin natin siya medyo sagad yung tahi niya. Do this all the way around until you meet both ends and ginagamit ko lang kasi yung pins as my guide. And this is optional but if you want your stitches to be a little bit more precise then I would recommend you to put pins all the way around. And since I have enough fabric to make a tube top, I'm gonna make one. And then once I'm okay with the size, I'm gonna secure it with safety pins para alam ko kung saan banda ko siya tatahiin. After sewing, just cut off the excess fabric on both sides. And I decided to hand stitch the upper and bottom part of the tube top, balayong seams, and you can use a sewing machine if you want. If possible, use a thread that matches the color of your cloth para hindi masyadong contrasting yung colors. So I decided to hand stitch it kasi the purple thread kept on breaking nung nilalagay ko siya sa sewing machine. And I'm also gonna sew the area near the bottom to prevent it from opening kasi once I wear it, lagi siya nag-open so kita yung underwear ko. And this is what it looks like right now. So, wala na siyang holes kahit gano pa siya is stretch. Then, I still have excess cloth so I decided to make straps with those. Then, I cut it in the middle kasi masyado siyang mahapal para maging straps. And then you're gonna have a total of 4 pieces and then you're gonna connect and sew the 2 pieces together and do the same thing sa other side so that mahaba yung straps na magagawa natin. And you don't need to worry if hindi pantay yung paggupit mo dun sa edges kasi isi-stretch naman ulit natin siya like what we did kanina doon sa ribbon na ginawa natin. And then initially secure the straps with a safety pin and adjust mo na lang siya kapag feel mo masyado siyang maluwag or masyado siyang masikip.
And then I decided to hand stitch this part then because the thread kept on breaking when I put it on the sewing machine. So you can wear this in two ways with the buttons in the front or if you want it to be a plain tube top. I did the same procedure but with another top. And this is another plain top and yung design na gagawin ko ay yung parang yellow top na pinakita ko sa intro. So we're gonna cut the lower part first parang magiging tube top siya and I used a crop top as a guide so I chose a crop top that fits me well and then draw a line and also remember to leave space for seam allowance. And then a ritual before cutting is to pin in order to hold the front and back together. And then flip it inside out and draw a line on the side. So remember to put seam allowance kasi ako I forgot. So medyo naging masikip siya in the end. Before placing it on the sewing machine, lalagyan ulit natin ng pins para masecure yung front and back. After sewing, I'm just gonna cut off the excess and then you're gonna have to flip it again inside out. So this is what it looks like right now. So to do the sweetheart effect dun sa top, we have to crumple yung middle part. And then once you're done, just secure it with the pin so that hindi siya maawala when you're placing it on the sewing machine. Flip it again inside out because we need to sew the edges in the bottom. To make the sleeves, take the upper part of the shirt and cut it in the middle and then also cut the sleeves of the shirt. And then you're left with this rectangle shape so just line it and then cut it into two. So to achieve the flowy effect in the sleeves, draw a bow shape and then do the same thing to the other piece. And this step is optional and I use pins as my guide because my markings were not that visible. So put the sleeves on the tube top so tatansahin mo how long you want your sleeves to be and you don't need to sew the edges of the sleeves. And then use safety pins to initially hold the straps so habang tinatahi mo, hindi mo awala yung measurement pa ng straps. Guys, I'm back. So I hope that marami kayo natutunan sa aking tutorial. And if you want a part 2, please do let me know so that I will make a part 2. And if you haven't liked this video, please do click like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye.